<clears throat> Should I start with the intro or do you want to say something? UJK? Oh, my bad. If nobody heard me, UJK, Yukon J. What's his last name? Don Shaw. Don Shaw K. <laughs> Death to UJ. <laughs> You should make a fan club. A, fa- a hate club. A hate, a hate I club. Hate UJ. <laughs> I hate UJ club. He's not going to survive an apocalypse. That's the only thing I'm saying. Mm. But yeah. I ain't going to lie. I think your video, from what I've heard, is like the favorite. Yeah. yeah. Like everybody I've been telling, like, yo, Tyron's video is mad funny. Yeah, not UJ's, of course. But, but yours is like a little below Jay's, though, in my heart. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Care about your damn heart. But. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Yo, 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 welcome back to another No Regulars Podcast hosted by yours truly. You know, I'm with one of my brothers, you know what I'm saying? What's good, remember? Yeah, my brother. Top up tie back in the building, part two. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I got more of some survival stuff to talk about. People need to know, but we're going to get there. Hey, we're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. And if y'all haven't noticed, for all my audio listeners, you might not see this, but we got a new background. <laughs> you see, I'm pe- the first one on the background. First, you're the first one on the background, and you're the first, first one of the year. First one of the new Top year. Top up, yes. Okay. Happy New Year's, people. Hope your New Year's is going how you thought it would be. Hope you're doing your New Year's resolution. I don't believe in none of that shit. But I actually do have a New Year's resolution. What is your New Year's resolution? I'm going to correct people about my name. <laughs> Yo, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. <laughs> you, like, you're notoriously, like, have, a, like... It's an easy name, but notoriously, people do not say a name. It's right. really... Okay, people, my name is Darius. D-A-R-R-I-S. And people call me Darius for so long. And saying that just makes people me feel weird. Maurice. That's crazy. It, Darren? Darius? Dennis? <laughs> Somebody wrote my name as Dennis. Like, Coach Log, I think he calls me Darius. Kurt is the only one that don't say Darius. Yeah, he calls you Darius. Yeah. Freaking, like... It's like... Ever since I was a kid, it's like... I don't want to correct people because like I be getting annoyed. So like there was name? one, there was one. What my middle name? Yeah. I mean my dad. He called. He call, he call, like, you he'd be like he'd be like Trell. Uh, that's funny. So. Like only you, only you guys be calling me like Latrell. Latrell? Yeah. Like you're you in the court, Latrell. Like, <laughs> D or Darius. Like, <laughs> like, but I remember there was this one kid that couldn't say my name. Like he mm-hmm. told me to my face, he's like Darius, I can't say I, your name. He said Darius, say, I can't say your name. He's like I can't say. I can't say it without the U. I have to. He like he just, that's what he said. He's like he physically couldn't do it. I'm like, did he have like a problem? I don't know. I haven't seen that. I think he's he he was kind of feminine. He was a weird dude. He was. I dead. think he lives. With, <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Nah, I think that's what I thought you were about to say. He's dead. He's for dead. I think he lives. So I haven't seen him in a minute though. Damn. He went to school with us. Uh, elementary school. You he was in my grade. Like you don't. You wouldn't not know who who he was. I and he went to. The high school, like he was one of those like kids, like they don't really know about. He has like, a little small friend group. He lived over there, like he lives by the park. Do you know his name? Emmanuel. You would definitely not know. I don't even know what his last name is. I don't even think he. I don't know if he graduated with me. Is he Asian? Nah, nah. He's like a Dominican guy. Okay. But yeah, he dead looked at my look looked me in my eyes and said, "I can't say your name." <laughs> and ever since that day, I'd never corrected people. Everybody been calling me Darius. It's, so like, if you're in class and stuff, or coach is saying something. He's like, so Darius went this way. You're gonna correct him? I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be like, pre- I'm pressing you from now on. If you don't correct somebody <laughs> on your name, I'm, I'm pressing. I'm gonna be like Darius. I'm like Darius, coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, yeah nah. Like I'm, it's funny because everybody else says it right, but him. Like even Darius, yeah, I'll take yeah. Darius. I don't know where he got Maurice from. That was crazy. <laughs> People, if y'all don't know, like there was a time my freshman year in college that my coach actually called me Maurice for two days. Nah. People said two weeks. So 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 the story. This is how you was never there. I don't this know why. This is how talk- the legend goes. This is what the this is what. It's I not heard, a legend. Right? I was there. What they said was it was like two weeks into preseason, and he kept calling him Maurice, and Darius was just like, "Okay, yes, coach, I'll do whatever you want. My name is Maurice," <laughs> and then was doing it, and then like a month later, he finally said, "Oh wait, your name is not Maurice. It's finally Darius." So it was like probably like two months. That's what the legend goes. You got to ask KP, but. You know what I'm saying? That's that what is said. the legend. But the true story is, it was two times. He called me Maurice one time, and he pointed at me, so like, I went. But like I didn't like think nothing of it. I'm a freshman at the time. Not, I just walked I'm on the team. That nothing like your name. That's what I'm saying. You're but pussy for, <laughs> you're for letting a grown man call you. That's, the letters don't even correspond, bro. Bruh. Sounds like a fat dude. You know I hate fat people, bro. 
Like, I could never let somebody call me Moody. Yo, bro, it's not even that. Like, Okay, he pointed at me, so I'm like, okay, Maurice. And like, bruh, first of all, I'm a walk on people, so I just made the team. I don't want to correct the guy that just, I don't want to get cut. So I'm like, okay, I, I guess. I don't think, I think he just mixed me up with somebody else named Maurice. I don't know anybody on the team yet. The second time, he was like, Maurice. He didn't point at nobody. I'm looking around, and he's like, can you hear me? I'm like, my name's not Maurice. He's like, oh, and then everybody just started laughing. I'm like, yo, he was talking about me. That's OD. Bruh, and then now everybody said my name is Maurice. Like even the even Fabi's saying Maurice. So. He be call you Maurice. No, no, not he'd be saying it like as a as joke. As a joke. <laughs> nah, that's what they do. I'm like <laughs> niggas be disrespecting my gangster. But if y'all haven't already, follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. We're at forty seven thousand. Forty seven point one, I think. I think we're at forty seven point seven right now. Ooh, Wait, like, I just posted. I've been checking that thing like every day. Hold every on. Hour. Nah, I'm, no cat. Hold on, let me check. Yo, I think. Speaking of that, bro. But it needs to stop. What? You're about it. You might get a hundred beans, bro. Oh, yeah, tell them about that. Tell them about right. that before. <laughs> so, podcast, I keep, for people who's watching, I keep looking down at my phone because I'm in the championship for my fantasy league. This is it right here, right? And if I win, I get $1,100. It's $100 to get in. Second place gets their money back. And mm-hmm. first place gets $1,100. I'm at 145 fantasy points, and the opponent's at 128. He has Justin Jefferson, who... Is playing the Green Bay Packers, but notoriously takes a giant poop on the Green Bay Packers. Like, he scored, what was it, like 38 fantasy points on them last time? But, yeah, I'm looking at this all night until it's done. So, But if it happens, I promise there's... If I win this, I'm going to give him $100 after that one. You that heard happens. that here, people. That's what's going right to the No Regulars Trust Fund. <laughs> to improve my room, because yeah. I painted the room over. I'm going to have, like, a new table... I got more mics, so more members going to come on. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have some couches in here. It's going to look a little nice. Good things coming soon. You know what I'm saying? But we're actually at 47.7K. I just posted a video. It's going up. It's going it's up. Going very it's going up, up. Very up. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see how long it's going to take for us to get 50. Once we get 50. No, I think once I get like 60, 70, I think that's tough. Nah, I, you're tough once, you're tough once you hit 70. 70's tough, that's right? That's 70K. That's tough. It looks really cool. Like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's really tough. tough. You know what else is cool? What? UJK. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> he, had to th- he did have to throw that in there. That's yeah, tough. Yeah. But follow us on Instagram at noregulars.podcast. Follow us on all podcasting platforms at No Regulars Podcast on Apple Music, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't already. And comment, subscribe, hit the post notification down below. I think we're... We passed 500 subscribers already. You did. I think I we're was, like... I- <laughs> So, no vision, right? <laughs> but, like, I subscribed on my cha- like my actual yeah. thing, but I didn't subscribe on my YouTube for my gaming thing. So, I was on my computer, and I was like, we're at 498. Click 499. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like, need one more. Yeah, That's close. tough. That's tough. That's yeah. fire, though. Hey, we going up, bro. Let's see. We might hit 1,000. I'll say, I'll say a couple months. I'll give it four months. I'll give it by the end of the semester. In the semester, a thousand, that's very That'll hard. That'll be tough. That'll be tough. It's very hard. That'll be tough. But you want to talk about the Spider-Man movie? Ain't, um, Or you want to get into some other stuff? I got some disappointing news for the Spider-Man movie. What? I think it was overrated. You think it was overrated? Damn, I said that? Yeah, so, Dude, so you think little, it, was, little, little, little. it was fire. It was a good movie, mm-hmm. but I feel like people rate it so high because of the nostalgia. Yeah. So like... You see, like, I'm not going to lie. I went there with UJ, Corey, and Ray. Yeah. And we saw the movie. We were all sitting there. When we saw the portal open up, and I saw, not Andrew Garfield, when I saw Tobey Maguire. Yeah, niggas was cheering for Andrew Garfield. I'm sorry. that Bro, me and Corey did flips in our seat. started wilding. <laughs> the rest of the theater, we were in some white theater. The rest of the theater was mad quiet. Where was you at again? We were in Rockaway. Wherever Ray's from. You know Ray's way. Oh, wherever, yeah. Uh, I don't even know. Wherever, yeah. Somewhere over there. But we, as soon as that happened, we started wilding. Everybody was quiet. And we heard some, shh. I'm like, it's a Spider Man. <laughs> I'm like that Spider. We we're watching a movie called Spider Man No Way Home, and this is the first time we're seeing Spider Man when Tobey Maguire came out. Facts. The other two niggas was not was not him. Hey. But one thing I will say though is I didn't see the Amazing Spider Man two with Andrew Garfield, but watching this movie made me appreciate Andrew Garfield because I think I he's did. actually a really good Spider Man. He is, but like the movie was. I don't. I mean, he mostly cried in that movie. I ain't gonna lie. It was a lot of backstory yeah. shit. I saw the first one. I didn't see the second one. And you. Wait, do you know what happened? Like, you did you understand like the my MJ oh. part? Oh yeah, well I mean dropped. I see all the clips like 
Like that his girl just like, like broke he did, her back. Like he did drop that in bitch. Bad way. Like, like, she, just died. <laughs> like she did die, bro. Like yeah, I was like, like when he dropped her, I was like, I, I think I watched the movie. Dude. I was like, no way, no way I'm she did. The movie might have been better if Zendaya died. Hear me out now. Oh. Now listen, now listen. I don't know nobody wants her to die, but look, if Zendaya died, now it is like a point for like nobody to know who Peter is because right now I don't like how it ended. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think nobody Be- does because the movie and I'm like, he doesn't have his friends. I know. And then Zendaya, I'm like, not his girlfriend, his friends. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And, and like, like, he could have said Zendaya something. might as well just fell off that building and died. Like, <laughs> there's, no, there's no point. Like, I don't want to see her be like, are you Peter? Are you the guy? Like, yeah. Low key, why didn't he just say, like, people to forget who Spider-Man was instead of Peter Parker? Well, so it would be, see, now for... Would that be a dickhead move? Yeah. Because, like, everybody everybody in the I feel multiverse... Like for, the, for the Marvel part of it. So, like, you know how, like, the Marvel movies at the correspond? Yeah. You, you're telling me, like... Well, Captain America, Iron Man's dead. Well, the all the other <laughs> Avengers, right? Like they're gonna be like, yeah, I remember some guy saved my life by shooting a web, but I didn't see what happened. You know what <laughs> That's I'm saying? Ju- okay. There's newspapers and stuff like that. That makes sense. That makes sense. So. That makes sense. But then and also, so like, how it goes is like they all remember. Apparently, like I watch videos, like they remember who Spider Man is, like his face, but they don't remember who the guy, who is. the guy under the mask is. Okay, that's better. So it's just like a blank spot in there. Okay, okay. Yeah. I heard. Like they said, like his friend, like what's his name, Nev. I forgot what the Ned. The, Ned, Ned. Ned. They said I said Nev. They said he's gonna be like he's gonna turn evil. Yeah, he's gonna so set it up for that. Apparently, like, he's like a hobgoblin. Yeah, or something. Hobgoblin. I don't really know much. I about, seen that video. Yeah, like he might turn into the hobgoblin. But I also heard that because he went to college and like Tobey Maguire Spider Man. Yeah. When he went to college, his best friend was Harry Osborn. Yeah. He's gonna meet Harry Osborn. It's gonna be his new friend. Ned might come back around and be enemy, and then Harry and him might. Come together. Mm. When's the but, what's the next Spider Man coming out? Is that Spider Man? That's not four, right? For the Marvel Spider Man, or yeah, like, it's not for. A oh, minute. it's not for a minute. Like, oh, so Spider Man Four is the freaking Spider Man Four. I don't think it's for a minute. Okay, I don't think it's for a grip. Because I know you seen the ending, right? People disclaimer. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell y'all. <laughs> but if you haven't watched the yeah. movie by now, you're what tripping. Is, I'm not gonna lie. If you haven't seen the movie, like what is it? We're almost a month. Like it's almost Spider-Man. a month. This is the most anticipated movie of the year, bro. You had to see it already. There's no way people seen it three, movie, four bro. times. Yeah. So if y'all, was... I saw it twice. So did my girls. I'll see <laughs> illegally. But so, like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's funny. Up, yeah. But you seen the part of the end with venom and shit, like how they like put yeah, venom so into it. That actually looks mad cool. I'm not gonna. Yeah, no. I think, I hope, I really hope, cause like in Tobey Maguire's one, Venom bonded to Spider Man first. Yeah, Peter Parker first, and then bonded to Eddie Brock. Mm-hmm. So that's why I kind of felt like it wouldn't make sense for Venom to really care who the hell Spider Man. Remember, these, you saw the Venom two end cutscene. Yeah, when he was like Peter Parker, like licked the screen like a weirdo. Yeah, like that part <laughs> didn't make any sense. I'm like, I don't even know who this man is. But like, I think but, it's because didn't they say like Venom is like a hive mind? So like, yeah, so in I other feel like you reach across universes or something, right? So like in other multiverses, it's the same thing. So yeah, if one Venom yeah. sees it. Knows who's uh, Peter Parker is, then I guess all of them know who he is. Yeah, I think so. I think like he just like, oh, you see his name. Oh, I remember. And that actually, idea. that makes sense now. Yeah. Because think about it, that Venom just dropped the piece of himself, of himself, and left the universe. Yeah. Technically, that part should have left. So since it didn't leave, I guess they're still connected. So yeah, that that's pretty cool though. And I think because I thought I was like, how are they gonna make Venom fi- fight Spider Man? Venom's a good guy, but now it makes more sense. He's like, a, but he's an anti-hero. Anti-hero, yeah. So he. Not really good or bad. Yeah, it's just he, in the like middle. Eddie Brock is a good guy, and then Venom, Venom is really a bad guy. But being controlled by not even controlled, being like tamed. So they both have control, but like Venom has more control. Yeah, but it's like they, they need mu- each other. They have a mutual agreement. Yeah, you know in the Venom movies, like they need each other. That was their their story arc. Ah, yeah. that's tough. That's tough. Yeah, but I got a lot of stuff I want to get into today, bro. But. The first thing, so it could go into what you want to talk about. You heard about what happened in Japan, bro? What happened in Japan? Cause you, okay, so what I want to talk about is, so you know how technology is going up nowadays? Yeah. You know how people are trying to make AI robots? Yeah. You know, supposedly in Japan, they made four like AI robots and they killed, and the robots killed 29 like scientists. And they killed 29 scientists and they disabled two of them. But one of them was able to hack into, like, the fourth one was able to hack into, like, a satellite and learn how to, like, fix itself and make itself even better. How recent was this? I just seen a video on it to, like, like today. I don't know how so recent it is. you should have told me before. 
Why you I need my backpack. You just, <laughs> you just completed. I need my backpack. It's about hey. to because I'm not gonna lie. The fact that they made artif- wait, so they made four artificial intelligent robots. Mm-hmm. They're not connected. They're separate. Yeah, separate. They killed. They ended two of them, mm-hmm. and the other two. One I don't know if they're out, but like, I think two of them like is like know how to, or one of them just learned how to like so, fix itself. So the fact that's a problem. That is a problem <laughs> because if they can adapt and learn. Then and then also their computers. So like yeah. they're getting into the system. That could I robot. Will Smith tried to warn us. He did. And nobody wants to listen. Will Smith warned us about a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna he lie. Did, though. But free him. But like, <laughs> also free him OD. His girl's doing him crazy. But oh, the God. main thing is though, I'm not gonna lie. If that happens, if they're like, wait, they killed? They killed twenty nine scientists. They should, everybody who worked on that project should go to jail. Oh God, I ain't gonna lie. Killing nah ki- like twenty nine? Yes. It's I four. thought you said two. Nah, it was twenty nine. Twenty nine double digits? Yes. It was like a military grade like AI robot. Bro, niggas in Chicago don't even have that many bodies, bro. <laughs> that's max, bro. I'm t- bro, that's max. Yo, that's gang. With, Yo. <laughs> they said with metal bullets. Like they shoot metal metal bullets. How'd they get guns? I don't know. It came out their bodies. Like some iRobot nah, shit. I can't believe that. Dude. I don't nah, know. It's, it's, I that's seen that's a video. That's I that's looked that's it up. It was on Google. I was like, it was like a whole press conference, and it was like a white lady talking about it. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. If robots, that's the one apocalypse I'll struggle a little bit because, like, now you gotta hide from cameras. Like, that's true. I'm six eight. <laughs> what the hell am I hiding from? If y'all don't know, Tyrone really is six eight for like, all my audio listeners. That's what I'm saying. I can't. The shit he says don't sound like he's six eight though. <laughs> no, <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, honestly, like running from cameras or robots, they can fly. They're in computer. It's they- deep. I won't even. You think that's harder than aliens, or you think? I feel like not aliens. You not you don't know. Not gonna lie, aliens might be easier than robots because mm-hmm. uh, they be. I, all right, so remember we talked about before. Yeah. I feel like aliens been been observing us. Yeah. So if aliens been observing us for a while, mm-hmm. then robots might be easier because then they learn the terrain by observation. Yeah. And our best bet is to just like hide underground, but they probably know that because they're advanced and they've been watching us. Yeah. If aliens say like, are just passing by like, hey, we found a planet with life. Let's go murk them next. Right? Yeah. And then, <laughs> next, then we're in good shape because then I, they don't know the terrain. We can maybe hide, do something. You know what I'm saying? Prepare. Yeah, yeah. They're not ready. Uh-huh. But I ain't gonna lie. If they have the technology to get... But robots will literally run our, like It's over. Look at us right now. I know, yo, we need this. Yo, There's no way we, we could go on without they, this. Literally, like, if they can hack into this, they'll know what we're doing. There's no way to hide. They know who I am. They get everything. They can take all my money. They don't even need that it's shit. Not even the breach. <laughs> like, this is like, you're not getting product. Like, that's not, true. Like, they're, like, if they wanted to kill us, like, all right, yeah, like, robots are not going to run the way Earth was. You know, Ultron? Yeah. Avengers? Oh, yeah. They can literally, you can literally do that. Like, all right, make us slaves. But what's the point of having AI robots? So, uh, really looking at it, it kind of like takes away, it's like, a, like what everything with modern day technology is like taking away, it's a convenience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking away what we have to do. So like, and then also like having an AI robot, like, you know, like Jarvis from movies? Iron Man shit? You said who? Like Jarvis from Iron yeah, Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, so basically we have an AI robot, like monitoring, like meteorites coming. Mm-hmm. It can like notify us like meteorites coming, but the chance is this, but Oh, so it's just this helping us should, out. This is what we should do for countermeasures. Uh, but then if that robot can learn and has emotion or something like that, like what they're trying to do with robots, mm-hmm. then it could be like, well, I kind of think the human race needs to die. So I'm not going to let them know that the meteorites <laughs> might work them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So that's the only problem with it. But mm. it's kind of stuff like that or like for war. I'm not going to lie. That's what... That's true. That's what Americans... I seen, I seen another thing. Like they said the Russians made like a whole super suit that could, that's like bulletproof. Like a... It looks like a it looks like a biker suit. They got helmets with talkies in it and like you, you, like, you saw GI Joe? Yeah, like some a minute ago, like one of those. Mm-hmm. Looks like like uh Snake Eyes, look like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. looked just like that. I'm like, I if we go to war with them, it's fucking deed. I'm not gonna fucking lie to you. I'm like, not I'm not lie. going in there. If we go to war with Russia, they got hella shit that I we will dead win that. I ain't gonna lie. If we if it's if they try to come here, mm. if we go over there, it's so slow. But I heard another thing about what Russia has, supposedly. What? All right, so did you ever hear of like organism 46B? You know that you know what that Bro, is? Bro, you just said numbers, letters, and the word organism. Yes. <laughs> what? So, what you t- so supposedly in Antarctica, right? Russian okay. scientists went to Antarctica 
And like in Antarctica, there's like 400 like sub lakes like underneath the ice. Like you could drill. I didn't know that. Yeah, drill two miles underneath the ice. There's like lakes. Oh, and it's like not frozen water. No, nah, it's not frozen. It's fresh water. That doesn't so make sense. Whatever. I don't. I don't understand how it how is. Did, go ahead. You go. I don't know. <laughs> Supposedly, this is what I heard. I've seen like mad shit about this. So they went down in the lakes, mm-hmm. and they found a squid, uh, octopus, like a squid octopus, like thirty three feet long. That's like highly. I intelli- heard about that. Yes, I actually just saw something on Reddit about that. Yes, highly intelligent, yeah. can shape shift, can alive. Yeah, it was alive. It was freaking. Oh, no, I heard about something dead. You're wild. Bro, it killed like three of them niggas. It, it has like, it gives off like a toxin that could go like 150 feet. And it killed one guy with the toxin because he was like in the water. And then it killed the other one because it like shape shifted into a diver. Like into it a can, person? Into a whole person. And then it ran up and killed them. And then they captured and put it in the tank and they brought it back up. And the Russian government took it and didn't tell like the media about it. They said, oh, we didn't find nothing. But they're trying to use it as like a military grade weapon, like use the toxins that it used on that person to like as make a, a bomb. I don't fucking know. <laughs> what? I don't know if this is true, but I, I heard about that shit to like see like the shape shifting powers because that would be od. Bro, imagine. That would be od. Imagine they already figured it out and they got spies in America. <laughs> I could be Russian. <laughs> she. <laughs> they they disguised as black people. We would never know. <laughs> what? That's all. Hey, I just figured out why the niggas in Chicago killing each other. That's <laughs> that's od. That's od. That's, yeah, that's I'm not gonna lie to you though. If the fact that they brought it up, they don't watch enough movies. They don't. They don't even have common sense. Not the movies, but they don't have common sense. Because I'm not gonna lie. How are they? Able, how did they capture? It? I don't fucking know. They got more shit than we don't know about. That's they what got I'm something saying. more powerful. They're like, oh, that's light. They said they put <laughs> the nigga in the tank and just brought him back up. How big was it? That shit said they said thirty three feet long or some shit like that. But it's an octopus, you know. It could it could fit into little. Yeah. You know, an octopus squeeze. could fit into like a little box and shit. Yeah. Like a like a six foot. I'm octopus. not gonna lie though, if that thing gets say gets loose into yeah. the water and starts like spreading. oh it's done up for us. No no like the human race. <laughs> like it's like if it shape shifted and turned came onto land and then it, imagine it reproduces it can and like reproduce say like itself. it can't speak because it doesn't know the language but it shape shifted yeah and just starts beating like like <laughs> say somebody walks up to you silent just looking at you and just like beating your ass <laughs> but, like, <laughs> and you're like oh no sorry that wasn't a person you can't press charges that was like uh, that was an organism forty six b like <laughs> you know organism forty six b is there an organism forty six a I don't know bro like, <laughs> like that's mad weird like I kind of want to know about that like now I want to. No. Oh, that is true. Imagine there's like a whole like forty seven other things. That's what, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, that's what you ever heard of? Um, you gotta put this on a podcast one day. It's called um. There's books on it and stuff. Damn, you ever watch the infographic show? I know a lot of people. I think you're the second person to tell me that. Corey was the ne- next person. You're, you gotta watch the infographic show. You're gonna find a lot of shit to use in the podcast. All right, so the infographic show they do like this little thing. Yeah. It's like you know, segment on SCPs. I don't know what it's from. I think it's from a movie or something. I gotta look it up more. But like, you ever watch like Black Mirror? Yeah. For most of the things I see, like it's like different like monsters and organisms that are like fictional. Some of them they say like, all right, could possibly be real. They're based off of true things, but most of them are like apparently fake. It's on YouTube? Infographic shows on, yeah, the infographic shows on YouTube. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was like a TV show. No, no, no. It's on YouTube. But, the SCP is like mad people do stuff on it. Like they have their own page, SCP. Some of them, like one of them is like, if you look at it, then like, like one of them, for example, you look at it, you die. Or if you look at it, you automatically have the urge to like laugh and you laugh so much until you die. What is it called? You said, what does SCP stand for? So I don't even. Is that the channel name? No, or SCP is, that... is like the, or, so SCP 2006, SCP 213, that's the name of oh. the, of the, whatever it's called. So. You I look at. Find out. I don't even know what his name. I might start watching that shit. That's not tough. Nah, it is. Cure. Okay, so SCPs might be real. The thing you're talking about, secure, contain, and protect. Yes, that might be it. I guess I don't know. And then there's apparently like so like some games are based off of SCP. So like there's like a horror game like, or like for example SCP like, it only comes towards you when you're not looking at it. So like I saw like a video. So that nigga is like, like ultimate could just sneak up on me. So like if you're looking at it, it's just gonna stand there and look at you. The fuck? <laughs> like I saw this video it was like, um, I gotta send you the link to it. Like you like look at somebody's looking at the window, like, don't look at it. If it look if you guys make eye contact, then it's gonna follow you. Yeah. And then the thing looked so the person looked away, looked back, it wasn't there, and they looked behind them and it was like in the room. What? And then they had to keep staring at it. That sounds it like a s- movie. It was gonna sneak up on them and like kill them. 
Yeah, something crazy like that. The SCPs go crazy. That's like a That's whole, sound fire. You can have like talk about one SCP every segment. It's OD. Yo. The SCPs go hard. I might go look into that though. Yeah. But yeah. But now that they said he caught a pass. Damn. He caught a pass? He he has three receptions for thirty yards. Fuck. Damn. But I'm I'm winning one forty five, one thirty two. It's about to be halftime. Okay, okay, okay. So how how many points is he at now? Six. Okay, 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 okay. I need him to have less than... 20. He can't get 12 more. He can't get 12? Okay, no, okay, okay. he can't okay. get 12. Once he gets 12 more, it's beautiful. Like, Everybody pray for me. Yeah. Pray for the channel for $100. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So, apparently, Russia got a shape-shifting octopus, 33 feet long, got toxins. And I don't want to go to war with none of that. I don't want to go to war with none of them freaking AI robots, but... I'd rather them just launch nukes bro like, <laughs> just a it. nuke fight just, yeah send nukes bro, so I can move my backpack don't send a shapeshift after me but I heard there's hella other shit in Antarctica and so Antarctica like I'm actually really amazed so I heard about um I hear about it on your podcast I, I think about it about a guy who traveled to he used to travel to Antarctica yeah. frequently mm-hmm. he did a segment on that right? yeah I talked I talk about it a little bit yeah so like him going Andrew, there something bird yeah actually it was yeah saw yeah. the TikTok yeah it was yeah weird. And then, like, basically, like, I really, I strongly feel like there's, like, military bases on the border of mm-hmm. Antarctica, and then on the inside of Antarctica, it's, like... A new world? So, like, not civilizations, but all experiments. Oh, yeah, yeah, all yeah. All extreme experiments. And then also, this is going to sound crazy, Kyrie Irving could be right. The About Earth the could Earth be flat. flat. Now, we could... It sounds dumb, and there's, like, scientific things you could do to prove yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But, like... We never or know. maybe not flat, but it could be shaped different. You know. Okay, what they said it was like UJ said this before. It says it's flat, but it's like a a dome, like a, like a half a half a sphere. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like that, okay, and then yeah. at the bottom is flat, but it's like it goes like this, and it's flat. I right believe here. that could be. It could be. I don't know. But my thing is like, no one that you know, like mm-hmm. people will say it on TV. Like, people who are popular or whatever say, like, yeah, we travel. Like, this is what it is. The science behind it. Who believes the Earth is flat? But do you know any friends or any people who have traveled, like, around the world or been to space and seen the world? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. So, that's why I feel like, especially, like, why is Antarctica cut off? I know. And, you know, Antarctica is the only continent that's, like, we signed, there's, like, 52 countries signed a peace treaty to not... To not have war and not go over there. Like, we fight about dumb shit every day. I'm like... What yeah. about Ant- only used for scientific purposes? Like I, I honestly thought it was a country. This is a continent. It's just a continent. There's no nothing there. And then apparently you could go to the North Pole, not the South Pole. Yeah, and our on the bottom, right? Mm-hmm. South Pole. So like, this King. is weird. I'm an environmental science major, so yeah. I was doing an internship <laughs> to go to the North Pole, and like, it's yo, it's so cold. Like if you walk out there with like no shirt on for a second, you're dead. Oh like, yeah, hypothermia die. immediately. Yeah, immediate death. But, <laughs> but like, um. What's it called? I was looking at it. I'm like, oh, what about the South Pole? Nah. There's nothing. Like, Cut you can't off. even don't fly even, there. Don't even think about it. But, like, I heard there's, I heard mad shit there. I heard there's pyramids there. Like, I heard there was, um, mm-hmm. I heard there was, like. There's so many more pyramids around the world. Bruh, think, bro. Like, there's, like, you remember when I told you about the lake? The yeah. lake I was talking about, it was the biggest one that they found. There's supposedly 400 different lakes. Under? Underneath the ice. It's too, like, it's a. Big piece of ice on top of Antarctica, and there's land, but there's lakes, supposedly, and it's like a little bit of hollow. But like, nice. supposedly underneath, like the waters, like mm-hmm. in the fresh water, there's like caves in there, and some of the caves are like warm and hot. Like that's so weird. And it's like if somebody could live in there. Like I, I was watching a TikTok. It said the in some caves it's like 77 degrees, and there might be people see, things see, living what, in there. I was, so that's why I think like we could have people like. That live. Remember, we talked about it on uh, last segment. Yeah. Like with the aliens that were like, yeah. coming around. Yeah. Like people that could live down there that just evolved separately from us. Cause like, exactly. You know how humans evolved already? Mm-hmm. Like people could have evolved to not need sunlight. Exactly. And you know what I'm saying? And live down there and they could probably be eating those little organisms. Yeah. Bees. They just, they having a whole nother battle down there we don't even know about. They, yeah, exactly. They don't know about upstairs. Like, <laughs> like they don't know about it. Like that fucking movie. Yeah, that's what <laughs> But. And, like, I heard, like, what's it called? I heard, like, remember that, that guy, Bird, I was telling you about the one that's seen, like, another land past Antarctica? I, yeah. I think I talked about it. He said he's seen inner Earth, but he said, like, he thinks... There's a theory that the Earth is, like, three times bigger than we think it is. And there's, like, yeah. continents farther... There's, like, continents past Antarctica. Like, that is not ice? Like, it's... Like it's not ice. Land? Like, it's, like, 
it's like utopia. Supposedly, I don't believe so that. That would be tough, but though. But guess what? That's all screwed if one thing happens. If exactly. They don't kill those two robots. Hey. <laughs> Yo, if they don't kill those two robots, bro. It's the, I'm telling you, the fact that that robot can be, all right, I'm going to just fix myself up. It's over. Like, I'm just use a computer. If you can fix himself, you can make another one. I just hope whatever's in that utopia can stop that thing. Because I heard they said that's where the aliens come from. That's so deep, bro. Like, they said there's, like, some continents that have, like, prehistoric freaking animals and shit, like yeah. mammoths. And then there's some that's, like, highly advanced. And that's where the UFOs come from. They don't come from outer space. They come from that continent. Bro. Hey, people. You, bro. I learn about the, the um, news that don't be on the news, to be honest. That's what I'm saying. There's a whole lot of shit we don't know. It should. It could be fake. It could be fake, but it's probably not. It might not be. I don't feel be. like it is, bro. Because, like, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of things that the government hides from us just to be mm-hmm. safe. Like, there's some things you wouldn't tell your children. Like, I'm not, That's what the government... Like, what we're talking about right now, like, if everybody knew this, like, people would be, like, wilding right now. Exactly. People would be, like, people would be really wilding. Like, exactly. Like, there's aliens. Like, you're over mm-hmm. here worried about this and people be panicking. You know what I'm saying? And so, they, they even said Nikola Tesla was from... Like was an extraterrestrial person and was from that lost continent. Damn. Because he said they said um he's one of those people mm-hmm. and he came to us and like you know how he was saying like he's trying to make like free energy and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like that's what their land yeah. was made out of. I remember. I think that's why they like apparently his death was like supposedly you know, linked like, to that. But maybe what like, if he just went back home? He was making free energy and like he like. I saw something about like they developing this Wi-Fi. Shit. Yeah, like he had he was developing Wi-Fi early, and they're like, "Whoa, you're wailing, bro. We gotta charge people for that." And <laughs> he got he's like, "You're doing too much. Kill him." Maybe, so, <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's just the good side of the world, and we're on like the the bad side, and they're just they're just watching us. Shit, like all we're about is just money. They're just living the good life. <laughs> I am about that money because if I hit this right now, it's lit. Wait, is it halftime yet? It's halftime right now. I right, bet, 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 bet. Okay, my defense could score though. Oh, they the Vikings got twelve, but they can also lose points. So the more points the Vikings score, the less. I What's the score right now? Three to twenty. Three to twenty. Damn, really? Against who? The Packers, right? Yeah. All right, bet. Shout out Aaron Rodgers, bro. That's tough. Aaron Rodgers, crazy. Bro. But yeah, so there's. Hopefully, I hope those two robots are on the loose. Somebody, are? Bro, I, I hope they're not. Oh. Hope they. But if they had four. Imagine they had way more, and they just didn't turn them on. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, I'm not going to lie. So, think about this. Right now, mm-hmm. you're home. Yeah. You hear a knock on your door. Your dad's like, yo, Latrell, you <laughs> the door. You go open the door, and it's a robot. And it asks you for help. I'm closing that door immediately. It's a robot, though. So, you're so, just oh, closing, okay, okay, look, you're look. closing the door in the robot's face. Now, okay. now you aggro it. Yeah, yeah. You know what? You know that's that's true. <laughs> let me let me see what he needs help with. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna try to be its friend. Okay. Like you know how there's always one robot that's a nice robot. Well, it's like I need a to- I need electronics to repair my arm. If I don't repair my arm, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'll give him my uh, my toaster. Cause like okay. like you know how you ever seen them robot movies? Those are good robot. Like in yeah, I yeah, like yeah. in the fucking I Robot, there was a good one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. what if he's the good one? And like he protects me. You fool. All right. So you're... he can protect me. No, you're gonna die. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna repair his arm into a knife. <laughs> and he's gonna stab my. Ass. Like, no cap. <laughs> I, like this is what I do. Like, I don't got a toaster, bro. But no funny. If you go down the street, oh. I got you. Like I know a person. Or just wait outside. You're not cold. You're a robot. I close the door. Immediately dial nine one one. Right. <laughs> Grab my backpack. Go out the back door. Uh huh. And I'm not. I'm going. Now I'm going. I'm not coming back. But nine one one's gonna pull up and seize the robot. But I'm not going to be anywhere near because it's say you could tell I called 911. He's like, oh, he's a snitch. Let me murk this nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's hey, yo. Robot That's code. smart. Yeah. That, I'm prepared for this shit. Yeah, you are prepared for I'm this not, shit. <laughs> so I'm I ain't going to lie. <laughs> hey, we're going to have that debate between you and UJ soon. It's, the people is going to find out. He doesn't win. Hey. He does, you, he you, doesn't. Can, you, you got five minutes to explain it to him. Yeah. And then he got five minutes. So we'll see. <laughs> but what was that thing you wanted? So people, Tyrone came on this podcast with some information for you guys about the zombie apocalypse again and how to use a, a tool to help you throughout the zombie oh, apocalypse. <laughs> and there was another thing you sent me. I don't know what this is. Is it a kendo? Is that like a, a, keto. a Is that like martial arts? That's what I'm going to use to beat niggas' asses in the future. Okay. So, so, so check this out. Floor is yours, first, first off, first off, in the apocalypse, my weapons, like I talked about my backpack, but I didn't talk about what I'm going to have while I'm out there, right? It's mm-hmm. like, I you want a crossbow, you have a slingshot, but like 
I dodge your first crossbow bullet. You know I'm smart. You dodge the first crossbow bullet or something. I could run at you. You feel me? You got a yeah. slingshot. You're really going to pull it out? All I need to survive is a bow staff. And for people who don't know, a bow staff is like... I'll put a picture up right here. Yeah. I'll put a picture Like a long... <laughs> st- basically a long stick. If you watch Walking Dead, Morgan, what he had. Like, so one of those things. So I always wanted one, but it's really good because it's easy to disarm somebody. Mm-hmm. You can really beat somebody up without killing them using it. Mm-hmm. And you could kill somebody with that. Because look, look, I have a bow staff. It's a sharp point, right? Yeah. And I poke you in the face with that. That's going to hurt. Like, I hit you right here and I like, that's really what we... Isn't what that shit, like, like, you ever seen the thing, it's like, you can put it in your pocket and you press the thing and it comes so, up? So, yeah, those are both staffs too, but like, those are bad. Like oh, they're, they're mid. Yeah, like, if you like, bend it too hard, it's just... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I think, I forgot, yeah, I thought that you had, no, my friend Chris had one of those shits and it broke. It broke, yeah. The yeah, second day. This, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they, they snap, so, but either way, like, basically I can disarm somebody with it, keep, keep things away from me because it's like a long stick, but... The main part about it is that it's sturdy and, like, it's easy to have. So, basically, how do I put it? If I have the bow staff, learning how to use it, like, having a stick, a long stick, doesn't do nothing. Pause. But <laughs> That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he paused. <laughs> but... Having a, but having the bow staff, like the training on how to do it, that's what makes you deadly. Mm-hmm. So then once you learn how to do that, then like, all right, I could get a pole and go crazy with it. You feel me? Yeah, that's true. But now if I have the bow staff and learn how to use it, disarming people, like I've seen videos of people like learning how to disarm people with it. You be watching videos on this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I've seen them like actually like take downs with it and stuff like that. <laughs> and like being strong with it, like I'm telling you, like that's the best weapon. On top of that, having a cross like a, a bow and arrow, that's mm-hmm. really what I want training on. But now, one of the martial arts, obviously, like I first saw it on Walking Dead, so I was like, ah, let me investigate. Okay, because keto, that's a martial art that you could use to like actually train with it. Yeah. Now, you don't need it. Mm-hmm. A keto to like a keto is also martial arts just with your hands, but it's mainly like takedowns and counters. Yeah. So basically, like, if I get into a fight with like Mike Tyson. You could beat him up by just taking him down. I ain't gonna lie. Mike Tyson beat my ass. But yeah. like, <laughs> if I was a Mike Tyson of Aikido, you feel me? He can't. Now he won't be able to hang with me because he's going to punch. I'm going to grab him and flip him. You feel me? Oh, or it's I'm, those things? Because yeah. I know I heard it before. Or okay. like do a counter and like hit him with an elbow. Okay. It's really just disarm, like stopping him. You feel me? Yeah. But like on top of that, like put it like this. If I'm if I'm going against a regular street boxer and I'm like, I know a little bit of Aikido, I better mm-hmm. protect myself in a way. Okay. So that's, I think that's better than boxing that's but, tough that's tough yeah so that's that's what you're gonna use to survive oh yeah 100% is 100% I'm, but I need a, a real one like one from Japan that's what I'm trying to get one what is like, it made of bamboo so nah but, uh, they do have like some for bamboo for like it's training. the shit that Donatello has right from Ninja Turtles yeah okay okay yeah, okay yeah, 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 yeah. alright that's a good what analogy like um what did they say some type of special wood is good but I wanted to get one made out of metal like what? steel <laughs> yeah <laughs> So how are you gonna fit that? You just gonna carry it or you actually? Just... I had a picture. I'm gonna send it to you. All right. So there's one that is is made out of metal. So it like it's like this big and it extends. Mm-hmm. So like you have to like open it out and they both like, both ends extend. And if you need to, you can untwist it and like you know no mook shit. But I could turn it to Black Widow. You know Black. Widow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I could I could turn it to Black Widow. Okay. And I have two now. Yeah. And then I could tie them back together. And now I can really you know go, go crazy. crazy, go crazy. Okay. You know, so, yeah. Okay, that's I, what I really want. I have a question. So buy one this summer. But go ahead. Yeah, but how much is it? Um, I saw one for eighty. Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah, I'm buying one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And do you need a license to have a crossbow and an arrow? No, you could go on Amazon right now and buy a crossbow. And buy a crossbow with all the ammo. How much is it? Explosive that's... tips. No, I'm, I'm jealous. No, I was like, like, what the? No, I'm joking. Fuck? That's some game shit. No, no, no. It, you could go on Amazon and buy one. like. What's I was like? gonna buy one when I got my stimulus check. I, that was the first buy I was gonna get, and then I. T- my brother snitched on me, by the way. So I told him, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to buy a crossbow for real. Like, no cap. My brother was like, yeah, ma, like, don't He's... let him get that money. He about, to buy <laughs> he about to get something stupid. <laughs> Yo. And my mom was like, all right, you just go and don't spend your money. Like, she wasn't letting me spend it yet. And then I came to my sister. I didn't buy it yet. Uh-huh. But next paycheck I get, 100%, like in the summer, 100% buying. How much Probably is it? I'm going to buy this at first. I told him for like, Three sixty, three eighty. That was the range I was looking at. Okay, so my question is: yeah. You have a girlfriend. Yeah. Are you teaching your girlfriend these methods, or are you just gonna? Is she gonna know about I, the apocalypse so at and this how to? Very moment. Okay, it might be a little too late 
Right, no, look, look, look. I'm a, <laughs> you feel me? But like, if she's not willing to learn, it's deed up. But this is my plan. This is also what I wanted to tell you. Mm-hmm. My kids, I'm not raising children. I'm not raising, like, my ch- I'm raising soldiers. <laughs> like, I'm, like, all, every time, like, when my kids are born, like, as soon as, like, old boy is able to crawl or old girl's able to, like, start crawling, now you're doing push ups. You feel me? Like, I'm, they're getting ready. So they're going to be like, soldiers and athletes. Yeah, 100%. I mean, that's the same shit anyway. The pocket's probably going to happen by then. I ain't going to lie. Wow. But like, so put it like this. Like, my niece, she's able to walk and stuff now. Like, and she's don't running do around. It, don't do it like that. I can't do it. It's my brother's child. But like, I'd be low-key teaching her like, yo, this is how you punch. Like, you, know, like, child, like, you feel me? But like, my, like, if I were, like, my son or don't, when I'm able to run and stuff, I'm making a game. Like, all right, push-ups. And then I'm like, basically like, yo, you got to listen to me. And when they listen, they got to stand at attention, all that. Like, what? Yeah, they're going to be. You're making a cult. <laughs> You're making a cult with your kids, bro. <laughs> they might be, that is a fucking cult. They'll be able to fight though. I promise there ain't nobody beating it. <laughs> Yo. But I promise they're gonna be they're gonna be trained on how to use the crossbow properly, a bow and arrow properly, how to make one. That's more important. Does your girlfriend know about this? Not yet. But Oh like, my god. I mean she kinda has she knows, but she don't believe me. Does she, she know you like this? Yeah. <laughs> she don't believe me though. Like she, <laughs> She thinks I be joking. Like, she thinks it's a big joke. I'm dead ass. Like, I'm serious. Like, they're going to have little mini, like, bows with them. I'm going to need to make f- this into a clip. If I have two, if I have two, they're going to be fighting each other with it. They're going to learn. Wow. Training one is going to have a pad, though. Because the training ones, I got to buy a training one first. I'm train. Yo, what is pad. this? The, a dojo? It sounds like some Kung Fu Panda a, shit, if, yo. Like, if I get into the FBI and do what I want to do, they, I'm going to have a dojo. I'm going to go yo. to one. Oh, my gosh, bro. Yeah. Free them kids. Yo. Fucking God. They're, I'm telling you, they're going to be raised perfectly. Like, <laughs> them kids no will get bullied. I mean, they go get bullied, but they could defend themselves at least. No, but they, no, they're not going to take L's. Like, I took I know. L's, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to be... They're not going to get bullied. Like, when somebody says something, they're trained punch first. Oh, That's wow. Crazy. Like, you're going to... At first... You train your kids backwards. No, no, no. So it's at first. So basically, like this, in school, you can't make it fun. You tell them, shut up one time. They don't listen. Mm-hmm. You let them know you're not playing. And then you go beat their ass. You feel me? <laughs> then by the time they get to middle school, yeah. people are going to be like, yo, don't mess with Tyrone the third, bro. Tyrone. Oh, yeah, I forgot. And they, they, don't mess with Ty- TJ3, bro, because T- he really beat your ass. TJ3 is hilarious. That's it, yeah, exactly. He, go, he really going to oh beat your ass. Oh, my gosh. Like, T- don't me- yo, don't mess with, don't mess with uh, Angelica. Because Angelica. she'll beat your ass. <laughs> yeah, that, she just... Talking. She just sounds big and and mean. Yeah, she will beat you. That's what I'm saying. You should be intimidating when you see her. That's what I'm saying. What and when fuck? they get to high school, now they got, I got to teach them how to be nice. Like, all right, you don't really got to fight people no more because they're scared of you. <laughs> now that they're scared of you, like, be their friend. You feel me? I hope they, like, turn on you. <laughs> Imagine. That might, that might be the best thing to happen. Like, you just get, like, a proud, like, father at that point. You just going to be proud. That if they, they just... beat my ass, I'll... Nah, ain't nobody. They can't be my ass. I ain't gonna lie. They won't be able to do that. <laughs> but maybe when they're like twenty in their twenties and I'm older, crap, then they'll be like, "You really gonna beat me up, your father?" <laughs> like yeah, that's what they yeah, Then that's kind of crazy. That's not like a tough movie though. Movie idea. Hey, I was thinking like like when you was talking about the fucking I forgot what you was talking about. You was talking about one of the movies and shit. The the was it C C C S P or some shit like that. S C P. Yeah, about the the shit like when you look at it and it like it oh, won't yeah, follow yeah. you. Yo, you ever watch like you ever watch the movie called uh, It Follows? Nah, <laughs> nah. What is that? It is the weird. Okay, it's not the weirdest, but it's one of the weirdest and like strangest movies I ever watched. So so it's a it's a movie, right? So it's it's about like a a thing. It's like a ghost or like a something, and like it's following you constantly, and like, like all times. All times like, but like you don't know everybody was talking about. Yeah, like, you know, past two. Months. But like so. It's it's always by you. It's just haunting you. Every time you see it, it's just like, like you just so feel like, weird. I'm sitting here now, like, and it's just like in that chair. I don't know if it's in the or it's chair. Like at the window, like. Yeah, like I think only and only you can see it. I think I don't know if it it's in the room or it's like that's, coming outside, like Michael Myers. But say it's in the room, right? Yeah. But like, if you have sex with somebody, it's it watching. it passes on to that person. That's funny as hell. Like, and then that person, and like, the how the movie started was some girl, some guy had sex with a girl, and he was like, yo, I love you, my girlfriend. And <laughs> and then after he had sex with her, he's like, he, uh, the next day, he, she tried to call him, and she, he blocked her. <laughs> and, and then she was like, what the fuck? And then that's the day he, he see, she sees like a, I I saw a clip of it's that. like a ghost, but it's like every time it's something different, but it's like something that's like, gives you anxiety and makes you like, want to like, kill yourself type shit. And what I heard that movie is about, it's like, 
like STDs. <laughs> Like, that like, was the moral. Like, yes, that was the story that was arc the that moral. the director said we need to teach people about STDs. So when you have sex, the ghost, the thing that follows you is like AIDS. <laughs> That's yo. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? That's and then at the end, it was like a, a STD awareness protection. I'm like, no way. I just he watched. Was definitely it. caught off guard. Oh, oh dear. God. I was that. like, what the fuck? Yo, that was the funniest shit ever. That's OD. Like it was literally following them. Like haunting them, and that was supposed to represent AIDS and herpes and gonorrhea and Yo. chlamydia. Like that's really oh, what, that's very creative, though. Yeah, but like, <laughs> like you could explain it. Funding that, I don't know, but they made a hor- They made it into a horror movie. That's fire. I like they made it. It's on Netflix. Uh, it should be either Netflix or like Prime. Ooh, yeah. Cool. What was the movie? What is the weirdest movie you ever watched? If you remember. Oh, yeah, I got a couple. I got two weird ones. <laughs> Free GP, my boy Gus. Watch the way him and my boy Ant and David. Well, first one, Sharknado. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was weird. Uh, you know, <laughs> that was the weirdest. The hell was go- we actually didn't finish it. We got like halfway in and we we're like, let's find something goofy. <laughs> and then we were like, we saw this movie called Bird A Medic or Bird Medic. Bird Medic. It was so, bro, Bird Medic. Bro, it was so weird. It had a good plot. Like, like if somebody funded that movie, <laughs> like, if it was directed by, like, Zack Snyder or, like, Spike Lee, it could have been fire. Okay, okay, okay. But the movie was so bad. So, like, <laughs> it, it didn't make sense. Stuff wasn't put together. All I remember is people driving in a car and then, like, there go the birds. And a guy pulls out a gun. And he starts shooting and it's cartoon, like, effects. It's real life. It's real life. <laughs> I'm in a movie with this camera and I'm shooting a gun in cartoon effects. Do you see like fake birds and they're going in a sequel like a gif in the air? What? And the birds attack them and it, and it was a serious ass movie. I think it's on Netflix. <laughs> What's it called? Bird Effect? Bird Medic. I'm Bird about Medic? Right now. I'm about to send it to you right now. Nah, a movie you should watch that is on Netflix right now and I need you to go home today and what, watch what, it. What is it called? And tell me about it tomorrow. It's called Old Boy. It's on Netflix. Old boy? Yes. What is I, it about? I'm not going to tell you. I need you to watch it. People, if you Why know what... It it's the... You'll understand. Oh, bird... Birdemic. Birdemic? Let me see it. Birdemic. Like a bird epidemic. It's on Tubi. Whatever the hell that is. How many... 1.8 out of 10. Yeah. 18% Rotten Tomatoes. This should look ass. Look at the cover art. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? No, like, I could have made a better movie, like, on Editor. Like on like on my editing software, I got like, <laughs> like hold on, let me go to images, bro. I was thinking about making a movie, bro. Look, that's a real scene from the movie. Who allowed this? That's you know, a real. Scene. It had to have been like some millionaire's son. Like, not a millionaire would do such a better job. Would have real hawks. Yeah, but like you know, like his son wants to be a director. He's like, he had this booty ass idea. <laughs> and he was like, you know. Let me you know, prove him. Let me like, prove him wrong. This bo- oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, but, thing was bad. but old boy, you watch it. It is a very good movie, but it's very fucked up. What is it? What is it about? It's about getting back at somebody. I'll just tell you that. Okay. Is and that Netflix? Get, yes, getting back at somebody the worst way possible. Like so bad, like it's not even funny. Not like, one, it's a bad movie? Not like no, it's a it's a good movie. Oh, okay, I was like, I want to see it. It sounds good. But like yeah. it's a very good movie. Okay, like okay. I showed it to Jay's parents and they looked at me like, why the fuck? <laughs> like what the fuck is this sick? What? It's very sick. Oh, it's OD. It's sick. Okay. Yeah, it was. It, I was. It was so funny. <laughs> they did not expect that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they did not expect that. That's funny. But nah, Sharknado was very bad, but, and it came out with multiple movies after that. Was it on like nine or seven? Seven. Shark, Shark how seven. did it allow seven? Who, who's funding that? I don't know, bro. I feel like it was so bad, people watched it, so it gave them enough money. Funny. Yeah. Because like the point of the show was like a tornado came, went through the ocean, picked up sharks, and sharks were just flying around. <laughs> but that didn't make any sense, and then they were like <laughs> crashing into people's houses and killing them. Like, yes. That doesn't make any sense. Hey, bro. I could fund a movie. I could make a movie right now. You know, I have a movie planned out that I've been thinking about since like freshman year of college. What what is the movie? Alright, let me tell you the movie about it. It's like a it's an adventure it's an adventure movie, right? So it's like it's based on like me and my friends. Cause like like cause this all started with like we, there was like, yo, if we was in a horror movie, who's dying? And how are they dying? Who's dying first? Oh, who did I say was dying? 
I said mad niggas was dying, but like I said, I was dying to be honest too. So to, I think you're dead. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> so so this is the plot of the movie, right? So we're starting out. It's po- post apocalyptic Earth. So the okay. Earth. So okay. and we're living like you ever watched the the one hundred apocalypse? Uh, like zombies or like there was like it was like a sickness in the Earth, and it was like con, COVID. con yeah, right. COVID, but like. On like it was contaminating animals and making them very aggressive. Oh, Mac, how does he? Gotcha. Some shit like that. Okay. So and like Earth was inhabitable, like chaos was down there. Okay. You ever watched the Hundred on, on? That's my show. Yes. yes so sir. I I was watching the Hundred while I was thinking about this in my head. So like you know, remember they had a sky base. Yeah. So now the people they found a way to make Earth on top of the Earth. So there's like a there's like a big platform where okay. people go. That's where people actually. Live. Yeah, and like me and my boys, like we live in the slum parts, so we try to get money and shit like that. Yeah. And my boy Ish, freaking robbed the the fucking uh the hood drug dealer for hella bread. It would, Ish would do some shit like for that. hella bread <laughs> for hella bread, but he also found a map. Oh, why he robbed him? <laughs> yes, because I guess that nigga was trying like he he's part of the mafia. He wasn't like no. Like yeah. no hood nigga, he was a mafia, and he was the the hood nigga was about to go on a treasure hunt down into like the old earth to find treasure and money and shit. Yeah. So they found out we was in there. We dip, we get in the cars. It's futuristic shit. We got flying cars. Oh yeah, yeah. So we zoom in, and then we went. We go down there, try to. We're searching for the shit. So we're in post apocalyptic earth. We go to like a city, okay. and my boy Jason, he's from the Marines. I said that nigga died because he's trying to. We're running out of a building, mm-hmm. and like like. Somebody has the car right here. <laughs> I was watching um when I made this scene, I was watching I watched uh the Maze Runner. The last one. Remember what happened at the end? Um no. When the when they was running and the uh the girl fell when the oh. So that's what happened. Yeah, yeah. So we were running throughout the building cuz like some shit is chasing after us. And there's also zombies in this movie by the way too. <laughs> so so the shit collapsed on that nigga. He tried to do parkour shit, doesn't make it. Uh so now we're in the jungle. We were going through the jungle trying to look for it, and then there's there's actual people that still survived, and they're like oh native like down on the yeah. Okay. So there's native people, and there's a girl. I fall in love with that girl. Like my character falls okay. in love with Her that girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Jay's in the movie now. Uh, okay. <laughs> so now, so then, and then yeah. UJ tries to UJ. I said <laughs> I said UJ dies. Oh, 100 percent UJK. I'm with that. That's a great <laughs> movie, my boy. I need to see that one. Yeah. I said UJ dies. How does he die though? He's fighting off a bear. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I can dead see you, Jake. That, like, on some real shit, like, in real life. What? Say, like, I'm telling you, look, 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 we're walking down the street. Like, and say UJ just has a little bit of, little bit of Casamigos in his body, right? So he, he already got the confidence, but now it's boosted. And we see a bear. Yeah. And he's like, oh, fuck that bear up right now. I can see him trying to box a bear. Cause, like, for anybody who's seen him, like I don't know if y'all seen him stand up. That boy thick. Pause. But like I'm saying, like, he's a little beefy. So yeah. I feel like he think he could take a bear. I'm not gonna lie. If I had to pick somebody to fight a bear, I'm picking UJ to fight a bear. Facts, facts. But then I got the bear winning. I got money line on that bear. Mm. So I could see him. Dying. Hey, I said like he like quick kill. It's <laughs> like it's like we was sleeping and the bear snuck up on us and was like attacking Geo. <laughs> And like Gio got wounded, but then UJ came in. It was like, go, go. He's fucking that bear up. And we're like, no. And the nigga's dead. And then, so now we're we're following Ish, because Ish is the one who stole the shit. He's getting all the, he's, we're looking for the treasure, right? And then, meanwhile, we're being hunted down by the mafia. We're being hunted down. They came down there too. Yes, they came down there because they knew we stole they, the shit. The treasure they needed. So they knew, so they're, they're, good they're tracking arts. us. It, it was not that bad. It's a yeah, little all over the place. Yeah. But <laughs> hey, so we go down there, right? And then, so we they find us. They start shooting at us. We all we I think, freaking ish. I think only a couple of us had guns and shit. Cause like you know we're from the hood and shit like yeah. that. Freaking I think I don't know if I said Jordan dies, but I think he gets shot. I think Bash died from a grenade. Cause we, we always say Bash has bad luck. So a grenade is like the worst, worst like. <laughs> it drops. Yeah. Oh shit. And wow. then and then at the end, I don't know. I think I I had to I had this all plot out like Maze Runner. So then. I think I died like trying to save Jay or some shit like that. Okay. So like you know you know me heroicness, yeah. and then it's freaking the way the first movie ends and goes into the second movie is that we find the treasure, but then they catch us and trap us, mm-hmm. and now they took all the money, and they took I think they took Ish. They they kidnap Ish and they're torturing him, and we have Who's to go left? get him back. Like just it's like freaking Fritz, <laughs> Chris, 
Ish, me, Jay, Jakai, Geo's wounded, and um. I think I'm. I think yeah, I'm. You really killed off your man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not him. It's like, it's the character died. It's not you, Jay, though. <laughs> it's not you, Jay. Though. <laughs> but Jason, I was just like, uh, I didn't want him to die. But like, I'm not his... gonna lie. I feel like you have to die because this is the type of person you are. Like, <laughs> if I had a movie, you would die. Like, say we're running. From, yeah. Like, like gunfire and shit. Like, you'd be the person to just get blown up. Yeah, no, I'd be dying the ass's way. Like, I, yeah, super trash, but then we'll be devastated. Like, damn, God <laughs> Paris, man. What we gonna do? We gonna get these niggas back? You feel me? That's what I'm and saying. And then we turn it to, like, some Gs and really mesh it up after that. That's why Because of your death. That's what I'm but, saying. Like, like, I motivate. That's why, I like, in my movie, like, the person who's, like, supposedly me is, like, the leader type. Jason's the, the acrobatic mar- <laughs> with the marine-like skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. UJ's that's the... the that's hard, that's hard. Oh, the very confident, strong nigga <laughs> yeah. that we like, we listen to him too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a second. Chris is the idea guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chris yeah, the yeah. idea guy. Yep. That's, that's like, yep. yo, we need yep. to do this, yep. that, and the third. This is going to be good for us. This is how we get there. Yeah, yeah. Bash is just that guy. Uh, Bash is just Bash. Ish is the, Ish is like the freaking, uh, what's that called? The <laughs> Nick. The, he's the one who got you in the trouble. Yes. He's and the like, risk he, reward guy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And Jordan's the, the helpful nigga. Like, I'll save my niggas before. I was everything. just about to say, I feel like. Jordan would be like the unskillful, helpful guy. Like he, and he was down for everything. Like he's shooting everything. So he wouldn't have the skills to actually help. But there's one thing that you need and nobody could do it. And he's the guy who can do it. Yeah. He does it. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's tough. Funny. Hey, bro. Great move. Nah, I'm not going to like great plot. That sounds tough, great right? Plot. I was yeah. talking about with UJ, but I didn't fully explain it, though. Because he was getting mad at me because I said I killed them all. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't really fully explain that shit. But I, was, I used to think about that shit in class. Just like Classical. zone off, hey, bro. That's, I used to have, I got random thoughts, bro. But speaking of random thoughts, bro, I think this is a good time to go in my random thoughts segment. I don't know if you ever been part of this. I, I'm just gonna think of some. This is some shit I thought about today. Oh no, a couple of days ago. So, what is the difference between hand soap and body soap? I'm not asking you. I'm just saying, like, what is your opinion on that? Hand soap and body soap. What is the difference between those two? So. You- it's weird because you use body soap on your hands. Exactly. Then like when you take a shower, you got the rag in your hand. You got the soap in your hand. Body soap touches your Exactly. Hand. So, like, why don't they just call it soap? Or why can't but hands... you don't use hand soap on your body. But it's the same thing. Isn't it the but same? hands are a part of your body. Exactly. <laughs> so it's but like... your body... I just confused myself. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. no, no. So, like, I can understand shampoo and conditioner because there's different products in there. Like shampoo, like you can't leave shampoo in your shampoo, hand. Shampoo, yeah. But, but body soap and hand soap have to be the same exact, like, what it's made out of. So if you think about a hand soap, like, you know, the squirt square bottle yeah. hand soap. It's like more like the viscosity. I'm using big words now. I'm nice. <laughs> oh, shit. The viscosity <laughs> is like thicker. So like if you try to spread it past your hands, you're going to have to really pull. Oh, okay. And gets, you know, like soap gets white. And but do you think you it. could wash your body with hand soap and you'll be straight? I think it'll be a lot harder to get off. Okay, okay. Also, but you wash it off the same way. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I feel like hand soap is a lot more stronger. So, like, your hands are less delicate than, like, the skin on your arm, Uh skin on your 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 chest and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, it's it's less delicate. Yeah. Now, body soap is made for, like, you know, your your tender little skin. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You put it on your skin and it won't hurt your skin. It might. You know what? Hand soap might dry out your body if you put it on your hands. Because so. you know when you wash your hand, your hands get ashy right away. Yeah. But like, actually, I mean, that's the same. Ashy out the shower. Though. Me too. So I'm like, I don't. Yeah. Like, I was just thinking about that. I'm like, why don't we just call it like, like hand soap? Just like, like why do we have to call it hand soap? Why can't it just be called soap? I would be tight <laughs> if I sleep over somewhere. Like, I'm gonna get there so I can sleep over for practice tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, I could get some soap for the shower, and you hand me hand soap. <laughs> I would be tight. I would be really mad. Like, like, yeah, just take this. Like, we don't got, we don't got that other stuff. That's crazy. That's so, that. I'll be very down bad. But then you could convince me, like, what's the difference? And I'm like, you got it. <laughs> Cause like, you ever like, you know, people like be washing their body with a bar of soap. Yeah. But like, you know, you ever, crazy. you ever wash your body with a bar of soap? You feel mad icky. Yeah. So like, yeah, maybe that's the difference. Soap. But what was you thinking about? I wash my hands with, with the bar of soap. Though. Exactly. Like, like I literally be in the sh- like in the bathroom, like yeah, grab the bar and then throw it back in the bathroom and then wash and my you hands. You good? Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. I, I got another question for you, bro. 
if animals could talk, what do you think? Which animal you think would be the, like the biggest dickhead? <laughs> I think by a lo- like by far, like easily hyenas. Mm, yeah. Because they talk shit on the regular. They do, and they just that laugh is just a uh... hyenas and cats. Oh, I was just about to say cats. Like, hyenas, they're... Whatever noise they make, I might lose my voice, so I ain't gonna have a voice crack on here. But they were... Whatever noise yeah. they make it, they do that on a regular. Like, if you watch them try to fight a lion, they just walk... They don't even bite it right away. They just walk around it screaming. Like, <laughs> bitch, I was like, ah, that, ah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, just talking mad. Like, if you have to put hyenas in a part of the world, mm-hmm. you're putting hyenas in Newark, you're putting them in Chicago, you're putting them in Baltimore, because they... They'll beat it. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you. Then cats, because my girl has a cat. Mm -hmm. I love the cat. But that cat is a menace, bro. (laughs) Like, I just live at my girl's house for New Year's, right? Yeah. I'm over here chilling with the cat. Or chilling. And the cat is just in the corner looking at me like this. And I'm like, like, what's good, midnight? He's like, like, oh, come here. Cat, lip, nope, no BS. Looks me up and down. (laughs) And looks at me. Cat walks up to me in the morning. And I go to pet it. Cat's like, yo, get, like literally, she's like, yo, get off me. Like, I really, <laughs> and, it, and then she has a cat and a dog. Yeah. And the cat does not mess with the dog. Like, the dog, we wanted to have fun, like, play yeah. fight and all that. The cat literally claw, smack, back up. Like, like you're like the third person to say that about yo, cats. cats don't play. Everyone, like, they just, like, I feel like they look at you and they're talking mad crap in their head. That's and a if fact. you see two cats together, like, they're, they have, I feel scheming. like they have telepathy. <laughs> I feel like they communicate like, you see this bitch, you see this bitch ass nigga over there, bro? Yeah, he pussy. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, <laughs> like, I know, I forgot, freaking Corey said his cat just be going around knocking shit over. Like, <laughs> <laughs> look at him. And look at him, like, here, Yo. bitch ass nigga. Yeah. Pick that shit up. And then he picks it up, he does it again. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you ever see, like, a dog do something wrong? Yeah. They get sad, like, and then they put their head down. They yeah. know they messed up. A cat fuck. do something wrong, it's like, what? <laughs> what you gonna do? Let me at the house. I'm gone. Like they know. That's true. That's like them niggas really be like yeah. outside cats. That's outside cats are max. They're really max. Like those those cats are very are dickheads. Yeah, they'll beat you up. Like I don't fight cats. Nah, I'm chill with that. I was yeah. saying that or like a ferret. A f- I'm not gonna lie though. A ferret. I they now I think they do steal things. And yeah. You see, ever seen somebody with a pet monkey? They do the same thing. Mm-hmm. So. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like ferrets are really playful. Though. They're, they're yeah, just like yeah. OD jokesters. Oh, okay, there you like, go. Like, they're assholes, but not like. To a point where it's like they're always mean. They yeah. just do it for fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they sometimes take it too far. Like, where's my stuff? <laughs> like, find it. And they slither away. Like, uh, do they slither? They walk. It's know. like they, they fucking move in a weird way. Yeah, like, you ever seen that meme of like. You ever watch that uh, video of Flight watching a ferret dance? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god. Like, he was like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> no, but ferret and a monkey. Because monkeys are really like, they, bro, what animal throws poop at somebody, bro? And laughs. An animal close to us. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. That's what I'm saying. Genetically close to us. I think they talk the most, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I feel like squirrels are mad pussy. Like, those are the animals yeah. that would be the, the like, scariest. I feel, I feel like they talk mad. I feel like they be in a tree, like, <laughs> run by you. You know how they be looking at you? Like, yeah. They'll see you. Be like, bitch. <laughs> and that's why they scurry off. Like yeah. That. Yeah, I feel like squirrels eat it. And you, never, you ever seen, like, squirrels? Like, they, they I feel like they, they're, like, suicidal, too. Like, they'll just run across the road when you're driving. Yeah. And they, they see you. That's what I'm saying. They're probably like, damn, I'm really pussy. Let me just kill myself. Like, and then end it. Like, <laughs> but, like, nah. Oh, I, was just, I just had another random thought. Do dogs have a, a natural habitat? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know what. Like, dude, prairie, the, I feel like golden retrievers' natural habitat is like a prairie. They're prairie dogs. Like, but like you can't find them in the wild. <laughs> like you can find cats in the wild. If supposedly. you go to like a thorough, like in Trinidad, there's dogs all over the place. But that's yeah. like in the like you know what I'm saying. I mean, I mean, there's all right. Is there? I mean, Australia they have dingoes, but those are those are wild dogs. So I guess that counts. But I wonder if you can get it. Uh-huh. You can have a dick. That don't count? Every No, 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 no I, don't, I, I don't know. Because I feel, I feel like, like the... Because they have sharp ass teeth. Yeah. I feel like every dog is a, is a house dog. Yeah, I think I think a, a dog's natural Except habitat... Except for a prairie dog. Yeah. Isn't that the... Aren't those little... It's like the golden retrievers. I've never really seen one. I just feel like they're a golden retriever. I thought prairie dogs were those little those little gopher looking things. No way. Nah, 
I think that's a prairie dog, buddy. Oh, I can't be stupid. Remember, remember from Turtleback Zoo? Damn. I you know the little, like, you never been to Turtleback Zoo? There's like a little prairie dog habitat, and like you you could crawl in there and like be like a little prairie dog and see them scurry around the dirt. In there with. Damn, they're like chipmunks. I'm yeah, stupid. Yeah, prairie dogs are like chipmunks. <laughs> but hey, people, a dog's natural habitat is a house. <laughs> that's really a house. Damn, that's some funny shit. I feel like pigeons have a like are all like mentally unstable. Mm. You ever see, like when you look a pigeon in their eye, like Corey yeah. thinks they're cameras. Yeah, which I don't think they are, but <laughs> I don't know. They could be cameras, but I feel like. Either they're cameras or they're like mentally like messed up in the brain. Possibly. Like they, have, they have mild autism. What did it do? Yeah, possibly. You never know. You never know. Yeah. That's some funny shit though. Yeah. But that's just some crazy shit, bro. Yeah. Oh, I got another question. So say so say if the U- United States of America, right? Say like it's split right down the middle. Like the middle line is like, you know where Dallas is? They, Texas. Yeah. Up. They're straight up. And okay. we go to war. West Coast versus East Coast. Easily. I already... Who's winning? Who's winning? Yeah. There's, there's not even... It's not a question. I'm not even going to lie to there's you. There's actually no... It's actually... I think it's physically impossible for the West to win. It is. I think it is. Cause like LA, ah, there's a lot of there's a lot of people in LA and a lot of guns in LA. Yeah. But they do have those people in the... Like like Colorado. The hillbillies. The hillbillies that... They got the big guns. We got Chicago. Bro, the big guns. I mean, we do You too. haven't seen... They have... <laughs> I, saw, I saw a dude with a rocket launcher I did see that in the and we got Florida. And we Florida, we literally just released them. Like, I know. We don't even gotta do much. Yo, just like, yo, everybody in Florida, like, we'll give you like ten bucks to go fight. And they'll do go it. nuts. Bro, that's where people started taking bath salts and turning into zombies. It's originated. <laughs> you feel me? And Florida got the hill some hillbillies too. And then you go a little bit up, like what is it, Wyoming in yeah. between there, Arkansas. Like they might have some serial killers up there though. They might that's have a good. They could take out a couple buys before they get knocked off. You feel me? Yeah. Then we got New York, Jersey. Yeah, we got a lot of... So, I think East Coast winning that one. Oh, 100%. All right, but now, let me pull up the map. Let me pull up the map of the United States so I can make it an even line. Uh, USA map. Why well, this should come up with some weird shit. All right. So, say... So, now, we're drawing the line mm-hmm. horizontally, Draw. starting at where... Washington, I'll, I'll give them where Washington D.C. is, and you're going across. So anything lower than Washington D.C., that's the south and above. We'll take, we'll have Washington D.C. So we'll take Washington D.C., but anything above that is us. So north versus south. So they have. <coughs> Whoa. Oh no, I thought I won. Fuck. <laughs> Yo, shit! I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, but yeah, go ahead. So the south is like, it's like they have they have California. They're not California. They have Los Angeles. Damn. But we have... We they have Baltimore. Have, we have... Uh, do we have Baltimore? Yeah, we have Baltimore. Okay. That's Chicago, crazy. Detroit, uh, Brooklyn, what else? Philly. And, yeah, we got the we got most of these northern states. But they have, like, all of Texas, all of Florida. Portland. Por- oh, yeah, we got Portland, too. They got all of Texas, all of Florida. They got fucking... I heard it's crazy in Mississippi. I heard it get crazy down there. Mississippi? I heard they go, oh, Missouri. I heard St. Louis is like the worst yeah, city of the... Wait, do we have... um? Where's that dead nigga from? Um, <laughs> <laughs> where's Young Dolph from? <laughs> Memphis. Memphis, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we, yeah, have ten, yeah. do we have Tennessee? No, we don't have Tennessee. Tennessee's... Memphis, yeah. They, Tennessee's down. They killed their own mans, bro. They killed Young Dolph. I know. Dang. So, but I think in North... and them either. That's Max. I think North and South is like... That's a good fight. It's a good fight, but I'm not gonna lie. Chicago carry a lot of weight. I think Chicago and like New York. They got Atlanta. They have Atlanta. Florida. Florida's hard. That's a. They got Texas. Like they have LA. I think. Let me see. I think LA is. That's that might be the tiebreaker right there. Whoever has LA. And like we split between like they'll take Alaska, we take Hawaii. We no, we need Alaska. Who's well, in Alaska? I, I would. Ra- I rather Hawaii. I want neither. <laughs> I know they're just they're just watching all this unfold. Yeah, <laughs> you know it's crazy. Who? Oh no, who, we who do. We do have LA. They oh, have yeah, LA. So no, no, no. They have LA. They have LA. We lost because <laughs> LA is in the south, like Southern if California. They have LA, we, if they have LA, we, we got lost. Sacramento. Don't know if that's gonna help. No, they have <laughs> Com- they have Compton. So, you think uh, it's deed for us? Yeah. Speaking of Hawaii, 
you know something crazy? You know, you ever been to Hawaii? Yeah. Like, did you peep? They speak a whole different language. Yeah. Like, they, like, all respect to them. Yeah. They don't claim the U.S. Nah, like they call us the motherland. They're their, they're their own country. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. I got there, like I got like off the plane, I'm on a bus and they're like speaking the language. I'm like, I feel like I'm outside. Like I'm in the U.S. Like why? Like it's like equivalent like, to Puerto Rico. Like you know, how Puerto Rico's technically yeah, but part it's of the not U.S. A state. Like Hawaii it's not is a, a whole state. I know. <laughs> so it's like they speak a whole different language. They like a whole like, new culture. Yeah, and they're like talking like totally different. And then like I'm trying to talk to somebody. They're like, nah, they don't. They don't really speak too good. Uh, When'd you uh, go to Hawaii? American like, English. <sighs> Senior year of high school. Mm. I think middle of basketball season. You went during the junior middle? year, middle of basketball season. I went with my cousins. Just dumb lit. Yeah. But, <laughs> Nah, but I mean, they call us no, they call us the mainland. So I mean, they're there's, far. There's one island you can't even go to. What's it called? Do you know? I don't know the name, but there's one island like other people not from Hawaii. Mm-hmm. If you're not from Hawaii, you can't go there. Like they'll haze you, like they'll bully you. Really? Yeah, like when I went there, they were like people we'll go there to refill, like soda machines or drop off goods or whatever the case is. Yeah. If they're not out of there by seven or something like that. Like people like throw rocks at them and tell them the to leave. fuck like, they like run them out of town and shit. Yeah, like get like get out of here, bro. What the hell? Yeah, it's BLD. I mean, they are pretty far away. What happened? Update, update, update. Did we win? Did we win? No, nah, it looks like he scored. Oh fuck. He's <sighs> look. All right, so I'm gonna say it, it has a percentage counter. Uh huh. Ninety nine percent chance of me winning. One percent chance of him winning. Scores 136.5 to 141.16. Oh, how about the Packers are up by 30, and they have the ball. So that means they're going to run the clock out. Oh! My phone died. 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 All right, so what happened is Justin Jefferson had like 10.1 points, right? Yeah. Five receptions for three or something like that, right? And my defense had eight points. So I was up by five. Uh-huh. One minute and 31 seconds left. Now, I know for sure the Vikings, it's not a close game, so they're not going to try and make a comeback. Uh huh. And the Green Bay has the ball. If they run the clock out, you get $100 and I get $1,000. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I, when I hope it, your phone, that, that's so yo, anticlimactic. Yo, I had this, like, that's crazy, though. What you going to do with $100? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. Ah. Yo, fucking rack. First thing I just said it. First thing I'm buying, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm gonna buy it. I think I'm gonna buy a crossbow first and buy some <laughs> bolts. That, I don't even know how to use that thing. But can you go to that that um gun range and um on twenty two and so use like, it? You can't walk around with that. Thing. I know you can't, but like, can you like call and be like, "Yo, I have a crossbow. Can I like practice it in the in the ranges?" I'm gonna find out. <laughs> I be- believe me, I'm gonna find out. God is good. Oh wait, I don't even know if I won. I know. Chill. We're not gonna talk about. It. We're, not gonna, I, we're not gonna jinx. We're not gonna jinx. We're not gonna jinx. You know what's funny? Like, if you call them and be like, yo, can I use my crossbow and the thing? They say yes. They're not going to be expecting a 6'8 black dude. <laughs> like, a 6'8 They're going to be like, they be like, what the fuck you do? You want to use the gun? Like, you want to use the pistol? He's like, like no, I'm the one to call about the crossbow. <laughs> Put it with, like, my Rucker stuff. I'm like, oh, he's like, oh, you play basketball? Oh, all right. He's like, like, so you know how to shoot? I'm like, no, nah, I know how to. <laughs> so I know how to pull this thing back and shoot that crossbow. I'm being there, like, pulling it back and shooting. That's going to be crazy. Yo, that's some funny that's ass. a good idea. That's funny though, yo. But I got I got one thing. I think one thing left to talk about. So I got a question. So I'm gonna give you a list of worlds, like made up worlds. But I'm gonna you have to pick between these worlds, and would you rather live in these worlds as a random? Okay. So as an NPC. Yes, as a random nigga. Damn. So you don't got power none of that. Damn, I'm a random nigga in this world. So. No, exactly. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, okay. So the first world is, and these are all cartoons and shit like that. Yeah. So the first one is, uh, so it's Gravity Falls, Danville from Phineas and Ferb, the the world with the Avatar The Last Airbender, or the world with the um, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. So here's that the shit. thing. Phineas and Ferb? Mm-hmm. Don't nobody really got powers. I'm just watching these little ass but kids. But think about it. Build shit I can't even use. But think about it. You know how they be having random niggas try their shit? You will be one of those random niggas to be on there, like on the roller coasters. You be you remember at the remember that movie 
when there was like fighting against the robots and there was random kids on their machines, you were you are one of those random kids. I might punch Ferb in the face. <laughs> no, but like, listen, like, if, think about it. Like, like you, I'm 21. Yeah, you told me a little kid, uh, 14. Hey man, you want to come to my my amusement park? Right, let's say your kid. Let's say your kid. We'll give you. Tw- I'll give you twelve because these are kid shows. I'm gonna do this again with like animes one day. Not gonna lie to you though, I go over there and say I go over there. I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be like, I like oh okay, a water park in your backyard sounds good, and then it's a big thing. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, wow. But here's the thing, I won't be have like unlimited access, and then when they take it down because what's her name is the Candace, sister, like, yeah. Like, Finny isn't ever doing this yeah. thing in the backyard. Then I can't use it no more. Uh-huh. I gotta wait. And what if they, what if they don't... Actually, they're nice kids. They probably yeah, wouldn't be they'll, friend. They'll let you do... They'll let you hop on the fucking roller coaster. But then Avatar, if I'm in the Avatar world, mm-hmm. the only only problem is... <laughs> You're a random nigga. I'm not gonna lie to you. My in, like entire from like elementary school all the way up to damn near almost in high school, <laughs> sophomore year, almost, <laughs> I wanted to be... Like an earthbender water bed. Like I nah. like I would always like ah, I promise you Did you ever go in the shower and like when the water trickles down your hand on, you'd be like on everything I love I was a water bed. On every, I, I was like it's I would literally go to the shower and just try to practice like <laughs> making it work. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like I'll go to I'll go to my boy Jose's pool and like splash water into my hand. I'm like, I'm learning how to be <laughs> So like it would blow mine. Like I couldn't live in that world because if I'm a random, like I would the Fire think, Nation comes and like they like takes over your village. We want your we want your stuff. I gotta wait for an Earthbender, Waterbender, somebody to come save me. Like but, you feel me? But weren't those weren't there some people that like learned how to do it? Yeah, so some people learned how to do it. I feel like I'll be one of those people. But like, I feel like it's dumb hard, and you gotta learn from like the Avatar. So like, yeah. I gotta find Aang, and I'm like, hey, Aang, can you teach me? Like, what the like <laughs> push me away. <laughs> and then what was the last world you said? The you ever watched Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends? I'm not gonna lie, that's the one. I I was thinking the Avatar because I feel like I could learn. Especially there's no technology, so like all I could do is just train on my freaking earth bending or whatever. But like that might be very difficult. I might go to like the the badger moles and learn from them. Okay. Okay. Or I don't know, but Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I could just I always want an imaginary friend. I'm not gonna lie, I really did, bro. I think I might be picking that one. I ain't gonna lie. Because think about it, think about it. Like, my imaginary friend comes out, like, I don't know what it would be, but now I have a superhero. Exactly. Like, I don't mind being a sidekick, but like, you feel me? Like, we out together. Like, exactly. You feel me? Like, that's, now I have a superhero. But then in the other worlds, like, I'm just a regular dude who wants to do those things. Yeah, but now me? I got somebody that can help me. Yeah. That'd be fire. And he's my best friend. Exactly. He's always, like, I forgot why they used to go to the I would foster go adopt, home. I would just go oh, adopt the big yeah. homie. What's his name? They used to call me his name. Wilt? Yeah. I was Wilt Chamberlain. I, was, <laughs> you know, I would just go adopt Wilt. No cap. I, I wouldn't adopt Blue. He type of asshole. I ain't gonna lie. He is, but he's funny though. He's funny. I would stay away from Cheese, yo. Damn. I would kill him. He deserves to be adopted. No cap. What, Cheese? He did Not to be adopted, to be in the adoption Oh, home. yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep but I, I, be, I used to feel bad for him. I felt bad, but the boy was weird, bro. Yeah, and he used to be annoying. Yo. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. Yo, let me tell you, like, I heard, like, a, a conspiracy about, like, one of the characters. You know Coco? Yeah. You know how she was, like, imagined? Yeah, how? So, no. so, so supposedly... I'll say some words. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. So, supposedly, the person that created Coco was a lone survivor of, like, a crash landing in a deserted island. So, that's why her head is, like, a palm tree and, like, her body is, like, a broken down plane. Like, you ever seen that shit? And this is, supposedly, this is what the creator said. So, like, the reason why she says Coke all the time is that's what the kid used to just eat was coconuts. And, like, her feet is orange because he had sunburned feet all the time. And, like, you ever realize, like, when she lays eggs, it's only resources. So, it's like she laid eggs for the kids, so anything he needed, because he only ate coconuts. Wow. And, like, whatever she would that's she hard. would lay, it would help him out. It would be, like, a tool, some food maybe. Like, it's only resources that they need. Like she, That's a really any, thoughtful, bro. They really be putting a lot of thought. I know, but nobody knows what happened to the kid. They said the kid supposedly died. He definitely died. Definitely. But that's that's very that's what the I heard that I think that's what the creator of the show said. Damn, that's tough. That's hard. That is tough. Because it does make sense why the, the she's a bird, but she looked like she got a plain body. Yeah. Like everybody forget, like she don't got wings. She got 
the fucking plane yeah. wings. She used to talk weird. You know, like, where is it? Hey, is all she used to say was Coco, but she used to come up clutch. Remember in the first the first episode, she came up with a grenade in the in the coke in the little in the egg. Yeah, and then the freaking egg. Mac was getting chased by that little Pac Man looking shit. Yeah. And she came up clutch with the little bombs in there. Yeah. That was fire. That was fire. Nah, that's OD. But people, let me know where you're going, bro. Yeah. We going to that fucking... Yeah, we getting imaginary friends. Yeah. Even at my age right now, I'm getting one. Yeah. You think they'll allow me or they look at me as like a pedophile? Nah, you look weird. <laughs> yeah, you're 21 with a... Get them out of here. Get them out of here, bro. Yeah. That's some funny shit. Yeah, nah. But I would... Like, my second would be Avatar. But then my thing is like... If I lived in the Airbenders, like, like, if I lived in Avatar, yeah, I think I would have to, have to live with like Earthbenders, yeah, because if I lived with Airbenders, like, we're all up on a mountain, I can't Airbend. I if like... I fall off, I'm dead. You feel me? <laughs> I like, I might be able to get a, like a pet Appa, you know, yeah. little thingy. I was about to say, isn't the Airbenders dead? But I remember in Qatar, I think they're all good now. Yeah, it was something like that. It's either the and plus the Earth Nate, the Earth Kingdom. Like, they're the most, like, advanced out of all of them. Earth and Fire Nation. Yeah. The Water Tribe is just... They're, like... They just started out. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're, yeah, they're living on ice. Chilling. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah. like, I think I'm either going to be an Earthbender or a Firebender. But... Or live in that area. Because I think the Fire Nation and the Earth Kingdom was, like, the best ones. Earth Kingdom I want because, like... I really think, like, the Earth Kingdom would really have some bad leaders. Like, some bad generals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me fires beating Earth? That's facts. Like... We're in front of each other. I just put a wall up around you, and I just like shoot like, the fire against the wall. You can't get out, mm-hmm. and then I crush you. And I, it's kind of brutal, but you're dead, my boy. You I know, know what I'm saying? They used to fold against the fire nation because I think it really was the bad leadership, to be honest. Yeah, that's right. They should have never lost that. But then they had some good technology with the fire nation. So like, remember they had that drill thing? Yeah, going to the wall, and then they they had the little blimps to yeah. just burn everything. Yeah, that was evil. I ain't gonna lie. Nice. Shout out to you Aang, can't, bro. and if you're not on the ground. You can't. You can't shoot. Them. Yeah. You... That's why I remember when they captured them. Where did they keep them? They in metal. Them in the water. In the metal. And the... that's when she learned how to. Metal bend. Yeah. And freaking Toph couldn't see, and shit. Yeah. Because she, she was feel. Yeah. But, yeah. I think I'm gonna go with like first the fo- Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Second, Gravity Falls. Third, Avatar. I'll get Dan Danville last. Cause I think, think I go in that order. But that would be f- like being in Danville would be fun though. Like every day is something new. <laughs> like I don't give yeah, a fuck if like, I'm old as hell. I'm going there. Like I'm going right to Ferb House. Or they die. Like oh yeah yeah it's deep for you. You feel me? Like, but that's a that's like a good like what twelve years of new shit. No 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 because they're not gonna be doing it when they're old. So good probably like three four years yeah, of yeah. fun shit. Yeah yeah yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. That'd be tough. That'd but be tough though, yeah, but you got anything other anything other stuff you want to talk about? Any other topics, any questions you got for me, brother? Yeah, I think I'm good. Oh, all right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, bro. Let's hope and pray. Yo, this thing turned on. Did, it turn, oh, did your phone turn on? Oh, oh let's, check. let's check. Before we end, let's check. Let's check. See if see if we want fantasy. Or oh, my brother won fantasy. This is very suspenseful. Come on. Come on. Dude. Ain't no way we... Okay, I'm not even going to say that because that would be crazy. I would feel so... Okay, I'm not even going to talk. It's loading. It's loading. Loading, the know. suspense is crazy because you know your phone turn on. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm drunk as hell. What? Oh, I'm drunk as hell. It said one minute. I lied. It's seven minutes left. Oh, I was that was eleven when I looked at it. Ooh. Damn, we're still up though. But there's seven minutes left. It said one percent. So that means the app messed up. It definitely said one minute, bro. I'm telling you, it said one minute. The <laughs> app messed up. Bro. That's crazy. How much time is left? Seven minutes. Oh shit. That's a. They don't have the bottle, but. It's 10 to 37. Oh, fuck. If they take him out. Because like, if they're getting blown out, they might take out their starters. You feel me? <laughs> Let the bench niggas They're getting go. blown out by 27. 27. There's no comeback here. I want to watch the game. Cause now but here's the problem, though. The Green Bay is 100% going to take out their starters. Yeah. Put in backups. If they keep Justin Jefferson in, he's like, oh, this is a backup. Move, move. Catch. Touchdown. How many points that he can't have? Dang, if they score again, I lose... I can't lose. I can also lose five points. So. <laughs> this is some stressful shit. That's why uh, I don't bet. Man, it's, it's fantasy. It's close, bro. That's why I, I play fantasy we'll for free. We'll find out if I hit, bro. Hey, bro. Put, put, there, bro. put down lucky shit in the comments because this is going for the no regulars fun. <laughs> OD, 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 OD. But if you haven't already, follow all the 
social media is down below. I'll put the link down in the description below. You know what I'm saying? And like, subscribe, comment down below. You know what I'm saying? And happy New Year's. You know what I'm saying? I hope this new year is good to all you people. I hope you accomplish a lot. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is just the beginning for us. We continue to go up. Episode 18 of the No Regulars Podcast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's crazy. We're already at 18. 18 is max. 18 is max. That's tough. So by the end of ne by next year, at this time, we'll be at 70. 18, 52 weeks. That was three months? Four months? What? How, how long? You, how long? Oh, it's been like four. I think this is going on five months. Yeah, yeah it's like seven. So we getting there. We getting there. Only ways up, people. Only ways up. You know what I'm saying? We different. They regular, no regulars, man. Gangster.